All right, Dead Pikachu here, and I'm bringing you guys a special Red Dead Online Tips and Tricks video. And in this video, I'm going to show you all the best way to level up your trader role. So if you want to get your trader role leveled up and going, and you can unlock all this nice, cool stuff, I'm going to show you all the best way of doing it. So in order to do this, make sure you have the butcher's table from crypts so just go to a post office get that going get that butcher's table and then you'll be able to access all this cool stuff so once you get that butcher's table going first thing is you want to go over there and you want to make sure your production is never halted so always be on top of your production so go talk to crypts here go to the table look at the production and start the resupply mission never order supplies it's always better to do the resupply mission. So press and hold X to do the mission so you get the XP. Because if you order supplies, you don't get the XP. So let's move on. Next thing. You've got materials. So materials, something important is don't skin the three-star carcasses. So I have a rabbit here skinned, and I have one that is not skinned also on my horse. They're both three stars. So I'm going to show you the difference between skinning one versus not skinning it. So when you donate a skinned animal to Crips, it fills up the material bar only by a little bit. You hardly notice. But it, the whole carcass, perfect, not skinned, will fill it up way more. So if you look right there, it fills it up by a lot more. So always remember, when you find the three star animal, don't skin it. Just put it on your horse. And if you have no space on your horse cargo, just skin it then. The twos and one stars, feel free to skin them. But the three stars, always try to save them to sell whole to Crips. Okay, let's move on to the next topic here. Okay, so now you have both materials and supplies for Crips. So it's time to make a delivery. So when you go to the table here, the butcher's table, and you're going to see your goods. Once you have 25 goods, you can go and make a delivery. There's two options. There's a local delivery, and there's also a distant delivery. Don't do the distant one. Only do the local one. If you're trying to level up your role as fast as you can, doing the local one is safe. It guarantees you get the delivery done, and it's not as far as a distance as the distant one. And honestly, the payout for going the farther trip and the distant journey is not worth it at all. So always make sure to pick the local delivery. And an important note here for these missions, the supply mission and the delivery mission, go ahead and turn them in as soon as you make it to the marker. It's not worth it waiting by the yellow marker for the timer to wind down. It doesn't give you more XP to wait. It gives you the same amount of XP no matter what time you turn these missions in. So the roll XP is always the same. The regular XP is the same. So whenever you get to that yellow marker, just go ahead and feel free to turn in the wagon as soon as you're there. And also another fun fact is get the stew pot and make sure to try to cook the Crip special. Okay, so when you cook the Crip special with the stew recipes, it's the only recipe that gives you XP for your roll. So if you want extra roll XP, take advantage of this. Cook the Crip special. You get 300 XP for the trader roll. So it's a really good idea to take advantage of that as if you're trying to rank up your role as fast as you can okay so i hope you guys really enjoyed this i think that's it for this video feel free to smash that like button if you'd like to see more of these tutorials on these roles and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so say i choose you dead pikachu and join the dead pikachu crew today yeah okay you guys as always thanks for watching take care and bye, <laughs> yeah.